Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 7 beginning hour teaser trailer demo thingy. So uh, right now we're going to go for the call to way to end the game. Because they're not really endings, they're just ways to end the game. Because the end cutscene is the same. Um, at least so far that I found out all these endings are exactly the same. It's just how you get there. So we already did the back door exit where we messed around with the tape and the keys. So, and we did the last episode, or the last uh, video, we uh, went straight for the phone call. So now, call number two is a mix. So we're going to get the fuse, and we're going to place it in the fuse box, and we're also going to get the VHS tape, and, um, but we're not going to exit through the back door. We're just going to go up and answer the phone. Now, it's a slightly different phone call. Um, just ever so slightly, like not even noticeable, at least I barely even noticed the difference. Um, however, call number three, what we'll be doing in the next video, is a little more unique and there's actually more dialogue that's at least, at least noticeably different. So if you want to watch the full playthrough, watch the backdoor exit and that's where we watch all the cutscenes and I don't talk as much and we actually go through it and it's more at atmospheric. But right now we're just going for the thing. So over here, this is where the lockpick is, the axe. But it's only when you're in the VHS world. All right, so we need to get the bolt cutters. Shh, it's creepy. Ah, okay, no one's here. Let's grab these. And we're not scared of you anymore. Use these bolt cutters. So far at the time, of this recording, I still haven't figured out, and I don't think anyone's has figured out, um, what that dummy finger is used for, if anything. So if you guys know, leave a comment below. Hey dummy, the dummy finger is used for this, and blah blah blah. And, uh, at the end of this video, there will be links to, uh, you know, how to get the axe, and, you know, all the different endings and stuff, so if you want to check that out. It's at least, like, four or five Resident Evil 7 videos uploaded. Not gonna be all uploaded at once if you're watching this just as they upload. Give it some time, gotta upload all those videos and then add all the annotations and all that stuff. So, yeah. bear with me today of the upload. Alright, so now we're gonna jump into the VHS world, but I'm just gonna cut that out because you've already seen it. You just play through that again. So, if you wanna watch that, just watch the backdoor exit video where we actually play through the VHS tape. So, there's the key. So, after you complete the VHS, get the key. But instead of going out the back door, we're going to go upstairs since the fuse box is there. There's that creepy guy. We don't, I don't know, do we have the axe? Oh man, we should have tried to run up and smack his face. Oh, so we got to try that one day. All right, there he is making noise upstairs. Oh yeah, that's right, because you don't have the axe yet. That's right, yeah, so we can't run up an axe. So we're here, so we open the drawer in uh, the VHS world, so we got the axe. And again, there'll be a link at the end of this video if you want to watch and see how I got this. But uh, I kind of just want to mess around a bit, see if there's anything in here. Mess around with the axe. But uh, you know what, we'll actually save all this axing around, messing around with the axe. Um, in the next video. So let's just cut to us going upstairs. And up we go. So let's just ah, smash these boxes. I like the sound of these boxes. I think that's like a pass rather than evil smashing the box, but it's not good. Now you notice you can't destroy those mannequins, but the other mannequins we encounter you can. So I wonder what's up with that. So in the VHS world, there was headphones on that desk, but now in the real world, there's no headphones on that desk. So I kind of wonder where those headphones go. We couldn't interact with them in the VHS world, or at least the VHS tape. It's not really a world, it's just a video of our past, I guess, so. All right, phone's ringing. Just, uh, if you watched the last video, we noticed this hallway over here in the back and the door was like made out of wood. So I'm just curious if we can actually chop this down. Because why else have this hallway here, right? And why else have this axe? Yeah, it doesn't look like we actually can cut down the wood. I don't know. We can make the marks in the wood, though. Right, let's just go. Yeah, can't chop anything down, I guess. I don't know. It's got to be a reason. So if you guys figure out, like, really how to use this axe, let me know. Dummy finger on this axe still kind of like a mystery. So here's this photo again. 
Umbrella helicopter. Can't smash the lamp. How about you? Yep. Smash every other man here because we're screwed by the button. Alright, let's go. Slightly different phone call. Alright. I know who you are. Who, who are you? You have the power to choose, but the outcome of that choice may not be what you expect. Hmm. Was oh, that different? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Now that we have the axe, I wonder if we can kill the guy before he tries to punch us in the face. I'm sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please hang up and try again, buddy. Just curious if we try it three times. No, nothing. I can't hang up. He holds it for the like two seconds and then he puts it down automatically. So, Let's see if we walk backwards if we can't. Welcome to the family, son. No, nope, he just always pops up. Ah, oh, damn. I was I was mashing R two too, and I I didn't I couldn't swing the axe. All right, so that's it. That's um, call number two. Call number three is a unique phone call, so definitely click on call number three and check that out. That's where we mess around with the fuse box, void the mannequins, and then answer the phone. It's completely different than the call one and call two, so it's definitely worth checking out call three. You're going to see the past video where we did backdoor exit. That's the full playthrough with all the cut scenes. Um, that time we got the bolt cutters, the VHS tape, and the key, and we exit out the back door. Um, that one has all the cutscenes, so you get all the story and stuff. That's the full playthrough where I don't talk as much and it's more atmospheric. So definitely check that out if you haven't. And then uh, getting slash using the axe. We get the axe, show you how to get the axe, and we mess around with the axe. Don't really find too much to use with the axe, but we do find some fun stuff to mess around with the axe. So check that out too. And uh, leave a comment below if you're watching this and I still haven't figured out what to do with that dummy finger. Um, but if not, hit that subscribe button. New videos uploaded every single day. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy me watching or watching me play video games. I don't know, whatever. Um, so see you guys. Uh, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye. Smash that like. Hit that like button too if you liked it. I mean, if you dislike it, you know, that's fine. But at least leave a comment telling me why you disliked it. Please don't just leave a dislike. That's... No. Alright, bye. You know how YouTube works. Alright, see you. Bye.